breaking news. Welcome to today's headlines. The Nigerian king who chose suicide instead of bowing to Queen Elizabeth. The Nigerian king who chose suicide instead of bowing to Queen Elizabeth. To my dear listeners from wherever you're listening from, please stay tuned as I read to this news. At a particular meeting held in Kaduna, which consisted of all paramount traditional rulers, in Nigeria and which are the Queen Elizabeth of England, in attendance, Atal Ameh Oboni, a revered Igala king, was asked to remove his cap to greet the Queen of England, as others had done. Though, he refused until they said he should leave the meeting if he would not remove his cap, but Atta was not like others, or was he? It was a taboo for Atta to remove his cap in the public. The entire hall where they were staying was occupied by a swan of bees, which emanates from the cap of Atta. Ame Oboni, which he removed in order to greet the Queen. The Queen of England as well, as other rulers in the meeting ran Elta Scatter, except the friendly Yobar of Benin, who was asked by Atalame to go out before he removed his cap. The hall became empty as some were stung by the bees and the meeting ended. According to history, Atta Ameoboni was asked to be arrested and handcuffed by the security people, which they did, but the handcuffs fell off his hands. He was later locked up in a room on the instruction of the northern rulers and guided by the security personnel, but only to find out later by the personnel that he had left the room. Yes, when the security were taking him to be locked up, he told his driver, Amanabo of blessed memory, to take the car and be going to Ida, while the security locked him in the room. He then warned Amanabo not to look back, until he felt a cool breeze in the car. Though Amanabo argued a little that he cannot leave the altar there but later obeyed and started driving back to Ida from Kaduna. After some time, he felt the cool breeze in the car and Atta Ame was seated inside the car. The incident in the meeting made many traditional rulers, which were mostly not announced to be angry, especially making kings run in such a manner because of bees. This became one important thing, and it was like one thing too many. The Queen of England was also not happy, and they, the Queen and, and Northern leaders, started looking for a way to remove Atta Ame from the throne since it was getting tougher and uncontrollable like others, as well as starting for an obedient replacement. Igala's various cultural festivals, one of which is Ocho. Ocho is celebrated before farming starts, and it is the time that Atta Igala prays to God for sufficient rainfall, bountiful harvest, success in hunting. It is celebrated in the bush and the venue is called Ere Ocho, where the Atta will hunt until he kills a buffalo or a strong animal. The community in Ida where Ocho takes place is called Ogo Efa. 
he performs a little sacrifice to the ancestors using a fowl in the process and this was to find out if there will blessing or problems in the land after the altar. Before this time, the enemies at home among the Gala people, especially those connection, those having connections with the leaders of the northern region, were looking hard to get any evidence either through or false, which can be used to remove him from the throne. The blood of the animal used as sacrifice at orchard ground now became what the enemies would use against him. Petition was written by these two Igala people to the queen and some other northern leaders that Atame was sacrificing humans during the orchard festivals. Since they were looking for any means to displace him with, judgment was quickly passed that he must be dethroned even when investigations were not yet concluded. In addition, all the Gala cultural festivals, including the Ocho, were immediately banned, and these remained for almost 63 years until Governor Yahaya Bello unbanned them based on the appeal. Of the present Atta Igala. Already, before this time, the Oba of Benin, who had such friction with the British, had already been dethroned and banished from Benin. So, Atta Ame Oboni knew that at that point, no matter what spiritual approach applied, it can only postpone the evil day as his enemies will never relent until he was removed by them. The result of the blood sample which was taken from the orchard venue and taken to University of Ibadan for analysis had arrived and it was proved that it was the blood of an animal and not human. So my dear listeners, now we've come to the end of our today's news. Please do drop by 